Every morning, shortly before 5 a.m., the same ritual begins. The team from the Shark Research Institute goes up the coast to inspect the shark nets. Off Durban, in the Indian Ocean, there are over 400 shark nets, protecting the most popular beaches. 40 kilometers of the Natal coast are protected from the hundreds of sharks which flourish in these waters. The nets are hauled up. When they are hauled, the nets are exchanged. Over 1,400 sharks are caught in the nets every year. But other kinds of fish get caught in the nets, which pose a particular problem for dolphins. Often the team comes too late to save them, and only a few manage to escape. We have for many years wanted to come up with some, some form of shark protection which does not have to kill sharks. And for the last five or six years we've been working extensively on an electrical shark repellent. Our initial research has come up with the device that you see here. This is one of the early prototypes. It's relatively large and for this reason we're only marketing it for scuba divers at the moment. It's too large to be worn by a swimmer or a surfer. What we hope to do is with the, the money from the sales of the pod to divers, we can carry on with our research and development and thereby come up with a device which will hopefully protect surfers from shark attack. During the school holidays in 1957, five people were killed by sharks. Tourism departments around Durban got together. Today, more than 100 shark attacks are reported every year worldwide. Of these, 10 are fatal. Len Jones is one of the few people who often makes the acquaintance of sharks. He's a harpoon fishing enthusiast, and over 30 years in the sport, he's brought home numerous trophies. Mostly sharks are found on the end of his harpoon, except once. It was a great white. He rushed around trying to tear the fish loose, stabbing me in the process with his teeth because, you know, they have five, seven rows of teeth and when they bite hard, like this one was doing on the fish, the first row stick forward at about a 45 degree angle. And when he was shaking, the f I was actually rolling across his mouth and the, he was actually stabbing me and I got five holes in my buttock from him. He's lucky it's only five. It could be a lot more. The teeth in some sharks mesh together like electric saws. At the Shark Institute, the dead sharks are examined. Just some of the 100 species found off the South African coast. They'd got caught in the nets and drowned. They need to be constantly swimming to get the oxygen they need. The shark hasn't evolved much over the last millions of years. But despite that, man still knows little about this vast species of fish. The Shark Institute has been collecting data since 1964. Remarkably, it has been discovered that a quarter of a shark's weight is made up by two huge livers. The age of the shark can be determined from the rings on its spine. An Austrian scientist is involved in this research. Andere Leute wollen Pilot werden oder so. Ich wollte als Kind schon immer ähm, Heilbiologin werden. Ähm, wahrscheinlich habe ich zu viele dieser Jacques Cousteau Filme gesehen, wenn ich jünger war. Aber auch, es sind wahnsinnig faszinierende Tiere. Ich versuche herauszufinden, in welchem Alter sie geschlechtsreif werden und wie lange sie leben und wie schnell oder langsam sie wachsen. Also jährliche Zug Zuwachsraten dann auch. Near the southernmost corner of Africa, additional research into the great white shark is being carried out. Fish are thrown overboard to attract the sharks, whose sense of smell alerts them to the blood from up to a kilometre away. 
South Africa is the only country in the world where the great white shark is protected. Once the shark has been lured in to feed, scientists attach a tag to determine, later on, the shark's age and its movements. It will be a five-year research project. Uh, during the first two years, we're going to do mainly behavioral work. Then, towards the end of the second year, we're going to start trying different anesthetics, first on other shark species to see if they work, and then we're going to develop a way of anesthetizing or tranquilizing the sharks so that we can draw them close to the boat without harming them and draw blood from them. And then we're going to use the blood to study the endocrine cycle uh, and reproductive cycle as such, and then also look at the um, accumulation of toxic substances in their blood. Sharks are fascinating, not only to scientists, but also to tourists. They want to see the great white right in front of their eyes, with only a wire cage to protect them. Sharks snap when they feel threatened, or when going after food. From deep underwater, they often mistake swimmers for seals and surfers for turtles. So although scientists say it's only Hollywood which gives sharks a bad reputation, those with weak nerves had better keep their distance.